Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. The Church of St Giles dates from the 15th century and is the centre of the community of the village of Maysmore. Maysmore is a small village in Gloucestershire alongside the River Severn with a population round about 500 people. So without further ado, sit back and enjoy. Drive along the A417 from Gloucester towards the small village of Maysmore. On our left is the River Severn, and in this year of 2024 has flooded several times across this road. Plans are in place, hopefully, to raise this road higher to avoid such major disruptions again. As we cross the Severn, we see on the right the only pub of the village, the very popular White Hart Inn. From the air, it doesn't appear that there is much to Maysmore, but explore more deeply and you will see there is more to this village than first meets the eye. We continue along the A417 and are soon through the village and heading on towards Herefordshire. Early morning. And as the sun rises over Maysmore, the village comes alive for another day. Commuters travel to and from the nearby city of Gloucester along the A417. Before we go any further, let us return to the River Severn. It would come as a surprise to many people to learn that this leg of the Severn was only formed around 1483. A dramatic flood of that period forced a new channel down alongside the village of Maysmore. Before this happened, the small river Leden ran across the meadows from Uver and into what is now the East Channel of the Severn. Thus, we have the creation of Olney Island. On our drive to the church, we pass the modern village hall. This is where the community come together to celebrate community events. It would appear that the name Maysmore is of Welsh origin, meaning field or meadow. It is thought that the village originated with the building of the church in the early 15th century. The parish church is dedicated to St Giles, a hermit who lived in the lower Rhone Valley during the 6th or 8th century. He is the patron saint of lepers. Nothing remains of the original church of the 12th century. What you see today was rebuilt from that original building in the 15th century. But only the tower, south porch and the nave south wall remain from that period. The remainder of the church was rebuilt in the 19th century.
Maysmore Court lies alongside the church and is a former manor house, a Grade II listed building where today is a popular venue for weddings alongside the nearby lake. An attraction of the village of Maysmore is the annual Point to Point, held in the grounds of picturesque Maysmore Park. For keen horse racing fans, this is an opportunity to see this exciting sport closer. One unusual feature to be found in this small village is the Steadings Business Centre. Located between the church and Maysmore Court, this is the ideal setting for an out-of-town offices to rent. During the 19th century, several weirs were built across the Severn between Gloucester and Stourport to raise the level of water in the river to aid navigation. Here we have Maysmore Weir and alongside it a small lock, all part of the Herefordshire and Gloucestershire Canal. A question never asked is where does the Severn Bore end? Answer, here at Maysmore Weir. The bore, here every two weeks on a spring tide, has reversed the current and is in effect pushing all the water backwards, back up to Tewkesbury. The weir kills the bore wave, but not the power of the tide. The end of another day as the sun sets over the River Severn as it passes Maysmore and on to the sea. Thank you for watching my film. If you liked it, why not subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Meanwhile, I look forward to meeting you all again next week with a new film for you to enjoy. Bye.